Good morning, guys. It's 11 o'clock. I'm, I'm sleeping. I meant to get up at 10, but I didn't have the alarm set. It's day seven, Saturday. I was woken up because the intercom came on in the room, which they only do if it's important because they don't like to wake you up or disturb you, you know. As you can see, we're barely moving. And there's a giant ship out there. The captain on the intercom said that um, if she just wanted people to know because they might have noticed if they're on the open deck that we were uh, slowed down because their technical team needed to slow down the ship to investigate an electrical concern which hopefully will be resolved very soon. And that's what she said. Now, this is, uh, as you probably know, there was electrical issues on the ceiling before this when they lost power after shortly after they left Miami but that was resolved and then uh, a few nights ago in port uh, if you were watching when we did the game night we were sitting there and the power completely was lost uh, for about 10 minutes there and so we were a little concerned about getting back on the ocean because they have power issues obviously and here we are on the way back home to Miami and obviously they were still having issues. I sure hope nothing's wrong with the ship though because I love the ship. I love it. I know. Hopefully they'll get everything resolved permanently. <laughs> Look at the ship now. It's either the Oasis of the Allure. I wish that I had like binoculars so I could see. But you can see the open, um, you know, deck stage thing on back. This is the closest we've ever been to a cruise ship and it's so cool because we're going slow and they're going slow Why so we can see it. Too? I don't know, either they're going super duper 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 slow anyway, which I doubt, or they slow down because we slow down, which I don't know why they would do that. But they have moved a bit in the last, uh, you know, 15 minutes since I've seen it, but barely, like look at their trail, they're barely moving. Those are closer. I know, also they're angled this way actually. Doesn't it? Yeah, oh, they are, the front's pointing this way more. Well, I just get mesmerized by that gorgeous cruise ship. I know. Wish I could zoom in my camera and show you guys up close. It's gorgeous. I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram. Our present, our position is latitude 22 degrees. 406 10. miles. It's a little messy in here. Cause I just woke up. It's not messy, is it? Did you hear that? We've been 406 nautical miles since we left yesterday. Zara, pick the trash up off the floor, please. So we're at lunch here at the dining room, and it's, uh, it started at 12.15 on the sea days. They don't have lunch here during port days. We just came out of the room. It's like... Yeah. It's a, little, it's a little after 12.15. Yeah, we didn't wake up to 11 when that announcement woke me up. Oh, no, thank you. <clears throat> but they would like water. Thank you. There's the lunch menu. Marinated spicy octopus, chef salad, Caesar salad, broad bean, and tarragon soup. Hmm. Almonds and bittersweet chocolate served with tacos and pineapple salsa and turkey chili. That would be interesting. Two dessert, a strawberry compote. Then and coconut mousse or strawberry compote, yogurt, toasted nuts and balsamic syrup. Oh, interesting. I'll try a few things, you know. Here at lunch, I have a best question of all. So far, you. What has been your one favorite food you've eaten the entire cruise? Well, that's a hard one. Everybody no, else think about it. Already. Think about it, Menara. It's going to be your turn in a minute. <laughs> okay, how about you guys think about it and tell me when you're ready. Is anybody ready to answer right now or has everybody got to think? Uh, steak. Steak? Which steak? You had steak twice. First night. The first night was better than the second time. I know. Wasn't it? Yeah. Which one? Fine. First night. First night steak? Yeah. Why? Because it was just a special like, first night or? Best Better than tenderloin? Yeah. That's your favorite thing then. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else ready to answer? Yes. The pasta they make. <gasps> that pasta. That's awesome. Oh, well, you think on it a minute, okay? Oh my. There's a spinach tortellini. Oh wow. Spinach and parmesan. Ricotta. Ooh, and you I said, well, I don't think it's going to like until you saw that in the bottom of the menu. Yeah, but you just don't touch this food. Oh, look at that. I know. <laughs> okay, so we have all our pastas. Uh, Zari's got the like penne pasta. 
We got the tortellini. And then we got one of these turkey thing to try. I don't know. It just sounded so interesting. We want to try it. Is it? Oh. You know why it's in a light selection? Why? You know, it looks like a really rich, Saucy. decadent, bad for you. Because they make the sauce with wine and sour cream. Oh, instead of and spinach uh, cheese and, and then, yeah. butter. Yeah. Ooh, exciting. That's actually good for you. And uh, have you tried yours yet? No? Okay. There's bread on our dish. So who didn't tell us their favorite dish yet? You. I think the veal. The veal. The veal is really good. The caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. and the oh. That's what I was going to say. No, that's my favorite. My favorite thing I have the entire cruise, if I could go back on day seven and you could like, on the menu, it was like a magical menu and you could order, no thank you, uh, one thing that you'd had before. It was that night where they had the Indian, it was Indian, right? With the um, deviled eggs it was called. No, that's not the day. It was the hummus. No, it had the little jelly stuff, and it had the halves of like deviled eggs, and then what was it? The jelly stuff, the deviled eggs, and the hummus, and, and the bread, and you ate all together. That was the best, the best thing I've had so far on this entire show. I know you. There wasn't hummus though. It was just three things. It was egg, jelly, fine. Ah, oh, yummy. You got the apple pie. Towards the thing. I got some ice cream and I can smell the balsamic vinaigrette from here. So it's like strawberry compote with yogurt and almonds and balsamic vinaigrette. Maybe the yogurt is the white drizzle. That right there is Minara's worst enemy. It was disgusting. Mm, it smells like balsamic vinaigrette. I can see from here it's the allure of the seas. Wasn't close enough earlier. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Oh man, I have never seen a ship so close before on another ship. Oh, it's so cool. So, you know, obviously everything was fine about 20, 30 minutes later we, from this morning at 11 when we had slowed down because of electrical stuff. We are going fast again. He said we covered by uh, 11 this morning, actually at noon. Here, they're like, they do this noon thing. It's like a ding, 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 ding. Good afternoon, it's 12 o'clock. We had went 400 nautical miles since yesterday afternoon, which is 24 hours almost since we had left. And uh, it's just so calm out here. Look at the water, look at the seas, they're calm. It's gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna sit on my balcony for a while and enjoy this while I can, because it's, it's very wonderful and relaxing and beautiful. And I have this beautiful ship to look at. <laughs> okay, you guys, there's flying fish. Look at this, first of all, okay, we're excited. There's the ship, but look at the water. It's completely calm and still. It's kind of creepy looking. Look at it. Yeah, but I've been on lots of cruises and I never saw it like this only one time, one time on that Costa near Samana, Dominican Republic, remember? Have I ever seen the water like this before? It's almost like flat and straight. Now I'm hoping you guys see flying fish again. Is they? Tons of them. Oh my God! Right here. Look, look. Those. See those things? So many. Did you guys see them? They look like birds, but they're not birds. They're flying fish. <laughs> so cool. Oh man. Yeah, no, we've been looking at the water. Yeah. No, no, we've been we sitting next, next to the door. The Look straight down the water. It's like completely calm. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Isn't it gorgeous, Elizabeth and Zar? Oh, oh, don't uh, talk to the camera, please. I'm not gonna. <laughs> this is like liquid glass. Look at the water. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's like, yeah, you know, like a liquid silver. Like, yeah, you think like if you touch it, it will be smooth. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't like do water. I mean, look over there. It's like you just want to touch it because it doesn't even look real. Look that way of the ripples and the colors of the reflection of the ship. I mean, it's super awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, this is always like a big black thing, like a head. And then under the water, you might not know, but it's like kind of clear here. We saw this big black thing, like, um, 
like a big from like there to there like that long a big black thing like a big fish it wasn't big enough like a barracuda or something yeah it wasn't big enough to be like a whale or anything um what's that noise airplane maybe airplane? yeah we're getting closer to florida you know yeah but this i bet this would be a really good time to see things because the water is so still I know I want to get binoculars. I keep saying that, but I keep forgetting, totally forgetting. But look at the water, it's just so cool. Who knows what you can see out there. This is one of the most gorgeous waters I've ever seen. Besides the night it was still on that Costa Elizabeth one in the Dominican Republic, remember? It was like getting darker though, so it was gray. This has to be the most gorgeous water I've seen. Oh, look, did you see that wormy thing? It's swimming. It was like this long and it was like this. But it was like a little eel or something. It was like a worm that was this long. Did you see like a little trail of water like Yeah, did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. It was right on the surface going like this. Something's right there. There's like six different bubbles. This is so cold, so calm. You can actually see stuff. Yeah, it's very mesmerizing. It's like, what can you see? Oh, yeah. There they all are! Did you see all the flying fishes jumped out by my finger? Okay. There's like a whole little... What'd you say? Um, There's like a whole little school of them. And then when their wind blows, it kind of looks like a uh, like fake a, leather, like a purse, like, like that. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Okay, guys. We turned the camera off, obviously, because I can't leave it around the whole entire time, but we turned back on to tell you that. Guess what we just saw? Tell them, tell them, tell them. Um, a little... Yeah, probably big. that big, maybe a little bigger. A shark! A shark! <laughs> She's just saying she always wanted to see a shark. I really... But it's down in the water, and you can see it clear as day. I was doing a little wiggle thing. But the thing is, you guys, is that this water, you wouldn't know it, but it's very, very clear. You can see through it. So... Yeah, if there's anything in this water right now, you will see it because it's it's clear. It just doesn't look that way. Yeah. If you guys see clear water, come out and look. Because you will see whatever's underneath the top part of the surface. See the ocean's a little more ripply now, Minara? Not as glassy, but still as far as waves go, calm. Yes. But it was like so glassy, wasn't it? What a lazy day we've had today. We just had lunch and we're getting ready to go get some tea. First tea of the day. You ready to go get some tea? Uh, yes. I like I like being active on this cruise and I'm glad that we have this day today to rest and enjoy. I liked it. A lot of times the ship you just want to relax and lounge around and take naps and sit on your porch and enjoy your view. And that's what today is. They gave us these, um, Pinot Cruises thing. Um, questionnaire about the crew and everything. Everything 10. 10 out of 10. Like, the best. Excellent. And of course, I noted, I noted the really, really nice people. And I also said that every single person on this entire ship was outstanding. And... I don't want you to have to One of the ladies we went on one of those excursions with, I need to come in and get a caffeine pill. Okay. And ibuprofen. You know, my brain, I don't why. Mm. She hasn't been anything for sunburns. Her husband fell asleep up at the. <sighs> He's blistering. No! Oh, he must have fell asleep for a long time. <sighs> oh, that'd be so terrible. Those were so good. I guess you don't fall asleep on a cruise ship deck, huh? I don't like it. Some lady and her husband, her husband fell asleep and pulled it. That's terrible. I forgot. Do they usually go in here? Yeah, slide in there. What kind of questions were they? Show them? Yeah, just, you know, how you rate different Hello, things. Ladies, like, how are you? Hi. Oh, really good. Entertainment activities, food, oh. blah, blah, blah. What is this? Pick someone. Outstanding performance oh. cruise nomination. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. This ship is just so intimate that I feel like every little place I look, I have memories. It's kind of like, like you're losing, like leaving your home. I remember sitting down here with our fun team of kids and then the, the impact guide and going over like our sheet on our scavenger hunt and getting scored up. We did the same thing up there. You guys were up there. It's funny because look, I was just 
right here when I walked by here. Uh huh. And I saw the jump in. There's always the first day we got in. Here. Yeah, we were on the step taking photos. It's like Remember? it doesn't seem like we go, but yet it does. Because I've been so many places and done so many different things, and it's like seems like longer ago. And then over there on the other side of this, in the lounge where we, the kids played Twister that night, and oh, gosh, so <laughs> oh my god, it's been so immersive. Like yes. Fully, not just partially. It was like. Everything. It makes this sea day of relaxation just seem kind of boring to me. Yeah, like if you had. All I, I want to go do some like more this, fun stuff. There's nothing to do but ping pong and oh. pool. It wouldn't even be the same. I mean, at it's all. fun sometimes, but gosh, that yes, was amazing. It's fun. Oh. It's the best. Oh, oh man. I can't want to do it again. I want to go to Cuba. It's all our Me too. Cuba. Me too. I want to go on a ship like this ship. Mm hmm. This one. To Cuba. Mm hmm. Gonna do it. Mm -hmm. God, that's not. I was talking how awesome Cuba is. How they didn't ever import anything. So they take all their old cars and they. Well, it's technically not awesome. I mean, it's awesome for us, but not for them. I mean, yeah, like a cool they, place like, to go. Redo them and, like, you know, and. And they're like all these old like classic cars and stuff on the streets. Even the taxis. Yeah, and at night everyone's like partying and there's music all up and down the streets. You can walk around. He just said about not eating the food though. He said uh, the meat, I think, because we always get it rare. I think he said not to like go and eat. Oh meat. yeah, you shouldn't eat rare meat unless you know where it's coming from. Yeah, unless you trust. Because it could be bad. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's true. He said the food's fine. Yeah. But it's so different oh. there. He said they're very nice and welcoming and there's street. Can you ports. imagine the fun of exploring uh, that? Old ports have been there. Yes. That would be awesome. So we're going to Lido for dinner. Yeah, it's like four something. It's not dinner time. It's probably like an hour and a half till dinner. Well, I feel like it's nighttime. I know. But we looked at the menu downstairs in the dining room, and we didn't see anything on it that we didn't want to order. So uh, this is breakfast and lunch we don't need. Let's go see what they have here for dinner and hope for something that's And not looks just the menu. And, you know, I also wanted to experience I dinner know. in yeah, Lido. Yeah, we've never had dinner in here before with the table set up yeah. and everything. So. No, it doesn't say what dinner yet is either. Where do you want to sit? Here we want to sit. It's warm in here, isn't it? It is. You want to sit here where we want to sit? Sure. Well, once they set it up for dinner like this, they leave some empty ones at the end, see? That you're allowed yeah. to sit in for snacks, pizza, tea, coffee, whatever. You know, that's the... pineapple and tomato. Mmm. Mm. Um, so I'm not hungry. They leave these open like this just for that reason. Oh, that's cool. This is the afternoon snacks, or as Ari is called, the leftovers. <laughs> no. Jamaican spiced pork, pasta carbonara, beef fajitas. I'm sorry, I think it's the coolest thing that they have. It is, beef about. fajitas. About uh, it's ways. not all leftovers, we were just joking. Some of it was, you know, <laughs> from lunch. It's just from a couple hours. Like, they already have it made, why not try to... The reason people don't like it is because there's <gasps> not peanut butter a cookies. lot of selection. Same stuff, it's mm -hmm. not like... Those muffins look different from all the muffins the rest oh, of the that trip. Moose you wanted to try, possibly try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the allure of the seas is going home like we are. Look, it's right behind us now. So. That is so awesome. So, it's actually getting on our course. That's the coolest. Wow. So how's uh? I know you like the salmon. It's good. Salmon's good. And the cookie? <laughs> you haven't tried yet. Uh, is there meat on the pizza? Mm -mm. What? There's it's always meat on Hawaiian pizza. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Hawaiian yeah. pizza's ham. Hmm. It's so beautiful, it. isn't it? I know there's been land uh, pretty much all day. Flat land. <laughs> And there's a ship, which is not a cruise ship, it's like uh, some other kind of ship. So, you know how Elizabeth gets pink sometimes? I just determined I realized that she's a chameleon. Oh, there's currents in the water then. Yeah, they look like it, don't they? Yeah. It's the EAC. Yeah, let's go swimming. Look, she gets real pink sometimes. Look at those currents, those are cool. We're talking about how pink you are. I know what you're doing on purpose. It took me a couple minutes, like a minute, but look at this picture I took, you guys. It's of Elizabeth. It was extremely pink. I'm not pink. I wasn't that pink. Do you see how pink she is right there? Mm -hmm. She says it's my camera. So, here, let's zoom in on that for me a little bit to your face. That was face. not that pink. Go I took, more. I took selfies wow. of me. I wish I had my Now look at Zar. He's not that color, so obviously it's you. No, he's way redder than he normally is. No. There. So then I said, look, it's Amy and Elizabeth. It's cookies. Amy and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. pop, pop, pop. Amy and Elizabeth. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Amy yeah, and Elizabeth. Amy, oh. wait, wait. Are you okay? Does anybody have any sunburn shadow? Here's Amy. I'm gonna eat that. I don't put anything dirty on it. Oh, there you go, Amy. 
<laughs> yes, thank you. Mm. Hello from the other side. Oh, I really want to sing, sing that. that I know. Time. I don't even know what I do wrong. I was it's singing, and they make fun of me. Oh, watch you your said, tape. Last, the first time today said, um, you said, meet me on the other side. Oh, meet me. This probably sounds better. Who are you singing that to, and where, what other side do you want to meet him on? Like the bat, the d dark side, or the meet me on the other side. Yeah. The dark side. Dun, dun, Join the dark dun, side. Dun, dun, we dun. have cookies with outrages. But that means that I won't learn during the the, the, the light side because the light raises in the cookies. It's because you're Just make sure to look for the pink cookie on the other side. And I'll be there. <laughs> I was wondering if after all. We forgot something very important. A big boo boo. Oopsies, oh, oopsies. Look what time it is. 4.42. The books had to be turned in by 4 p.m. on the day before Miami. Or? That's the question. What if they charge them all to your hand or something? No, because they'll find them in our rooms. I'll say, here's your darn books. Take. Thank you, Zara. They'll they'll find them in our rooms. Guess what else, you guys? I forgot to tell you. What? I know how far it is from the ship to walk through Amber Cove to the buses. Does anybody else know? I know because you told me. Mm. Tell it's, my, it's my talent. I know this because I turned on my step walker thing. Or a mile and a half. A mile. A mile and a half. A mile and a half. The, for a round trip. Round trip. I had my step walker on. I carried it to the bus. I got off the bus, left it in the bus, got on the bus, got back off the bus, got on the ship. Oh. Ew, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? I feel disturbed. I didn't know. Why would you do that? You made me say, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I know, it sounded like something else, but there was a K on it. It was, what the hell? I don't say the other word, that's why. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Now, listen to me. It is three quarters of a mile from the ship. From the ship to the buses. There at Amber Cove. That's so funny. And it's hot. Dead man. Go to embarkation day, boarding the ship, and you'll hear the phrase dead man pole. Well, that's him. We're not making fun of him. That's just who he is. Just funny we we did an excursion with him. He was in it. He was an interesting man. Very interesting. interesting. And annoying. <laughs> Neat. Lots of people were annoyed Interesting. By him. He did annoy some folks. He was kind of and you missed the face that Dar just did, Elizabeth. This we're not going to tell you. This is an inside secret. No, hmm. it's not. Go ahead. It's this lady who has lots of plastic surgery. There is someone that has a lot of plastic surgery with us. You don't have to make fun. We're not making fun of people. We're just talking about our experiences. She's like, you know, uh, Marge on Simpsons, her sisters. We don't normally talk about anyone. But like Michael Jackson or someone with like, you know. Please, kids, when you grow up, don't get plastic surgery. Please. Well, especially like extreme plastic surgery. Especially when surgery. you get older. Extreme plastic surgery. Own your wrinkles. They're beautiful on you. Yeah, old, that's what happens. You get, you get old, old and you get wrinkly. wrinkly. They're there. You and even them. if you get your cheeks pulled real tight and stuff, we can still see that, you know, you're you've aged. Your but anyway. What up, biscuit? Who's Biscuit? <laughs> biscuit. Oh, John Cena. John Cena! Biscuit. They play Twister with Biscuit. They each have nicknames. And Biscuit the whole trip. Shishna. Is that a bad word? I hope not. And what are you? Wiener. Oh my gosh. When the girl went to dinner with yesterday, it was Sockney. It was Sockney. Sockney. And then the other one is Gravy. gravy. And anyway. The, wait, and the, the guy who works here? the Shia, uh, Shia, Shia LaBeef. Shia LaBeef. He would have liked his nickname. <laughs> What are they doing? That was the title of one of those person's life story. If it was, if they made a life story. Wait, so the card, yeah, you guys, the card says what would, you know, if your life was a book, what would the title be? And theirs was, it wasn't quite good enough. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. That's sad. <laughs> okay, there's the hot selections. Southern fried chicken, Trinidad curried shrimp, pork tenderloin, rabbit enriched. That, see, the, these three things they do have in the dining room right there. Oh, I think they have the shrimps too. They just don't have the fried chicken. Have that? The yes. Uh huh. That's uh, the only thing I thought that it might be good. Um. So basically the same thing. Ooh, they have sweet potato ones for late night snacks. Cool. So you want to just go to the dining room instead, since they were so nice there and it's our yeah. last night. So you guys want to go to the dining room or come here? Don't ask them. They were so mad at us when we said we were in Alito. Oh. <laughs> They're like they wanted. That's what they're looking forward to. And Fine. I know the waiters probably would be. Go, Fine. So let's go. Fine. It starts in half an hour. I'm gonna walk her and take a few pictures quick. We'll get a library books. Go ahead. Go 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 go. Out here. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go up top and what take a picture. Out there for the sun, the heat, what? The wind. Oh, the hair. Am I gonna break it? Yeah. Well, it's a giant chain. Okay. Well, if at least if it breaks, we'll have it on video, right? Huh? Oh. Uh. With my mom. Hey. We're gonna have no room for you at, at, at the dinner table, by the way, tonight. What are you gonna do? <laughs> My mom is. Do oh. so you wanna sit with us again? You don't mind? It feels so bad asking. But why do you feel bad asking? I don't know, because like, I feel like. Plus, we have the best waiters in the whole place. So. Yeah, you can share our table and our oh, waiters. <laughs> My wa waiter, Gary, like the guy with the little. like. Fun thing. Right. Uh, telling him that I'm not coming tonight because my parents were staying at another table. I feel like you're wearing socks. You need this space. He was like, you can share a table. You know what? I'm totally relaxed. Oh, this is so cute. You're so cute. Oh, look, you're dancing. Wow. Lenora, she's dancing to the song. Watch. Ready? 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 Okay. Breaking up is hard to do. <laughs> oh, you guys are silly. Don't shake it. Meditate while you do it. Meditate. My hands in the air. Wait, he has to get in position. Uh, fold his legs up like a pretzel. Like now, go ahead. How are you gonna hold on? Swing. You're not just really swinging around too hard, I don't think. So let's not like be embarrassing. You're gonna make him. <laughs> when you feel it, you're gonna break. He's gonna puke. Really <laughs> <laughs> I love how bright your socks are. They're like really white. <laughs> nice socks, socks. Are you gonna make him dance? Make him dance. His big ol- oh, he just kicked her. 